Let's get out of here. So that thing is about to come after us. Now this giant robot is called XATM092. We need to go ahead and stun this thing with as many electric attacks as we have. Or even not not even electric attacks, we just need to ground it, essentially. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Ray Bomb is this thing's most powerful attack. Okay, good, it's stunned. Time to run. Now, at this point, this thing cannot be killed. All we can do is stun it and then try to run away from it. Let's get the hell out of here. Apparently not, Zell. Run! Now on the next screen, we need to hug the southern wall and just try to exit the screen as quickly as possible. Yep, because he was about to get us again. On this screen, we're going to have to walk. Now, if you run on that screen, he actually just comes and gets you right away, because the rumbling actually makes you trip and he'll, he gets you anyway. Let's keep going. Yep, still haven't lost him. Alright, now this is... Now the bridge here is where we're going to make our final stand against this thing. It's at this point that we're able to kill it. It's gonna take a while, but I assure you, it is possible. Now, double is an interesting spell. It allows you to cast two of any spell you choose. So we're going to cast double thunder on him.
It's good, but we're not running this time, because now it's possible to defeat it. By the way, when you're boosting, you have to hold select to have that option. That's something I forgot to mention. Yes, it is indeed repairing itself, so... Essentially, this is the whole reason why I was, like, making sure that Thunder was a junction to Squall's elemental attack for this fight. I made sure everyone had Thunder spells. Smash should get too fast there, I'm not paying attention to the X.
good, it's down again. It may seem like we're getting nowhere, but I assure you we are. At least Clash seems to do less damage than Ray Bomb does.
I think at this point we won't be able to... S oh, never mind, it's going down again. I know at some point it's eventually going to stop repairing. Once it stops repairing, it's at that point that we'll be able to kill it. dangerously low on those thunder spells. definitely stopped repairing itself, so it should be killable now.
get some Renzuku. Renzoku comes going. He's just not getting it. Squall's limit break. All right, and that got him. Goodbye to XATM. That is the giant robot destroyed. For defeating him, we got a Hypno Crown and 50 AP. Now I kind of wish I had given Siren something other to something else to learn other than summoning magic, but I forgot. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. Now we still have three minutes to get to the shore, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to hurry. Now that the giant robot's been taken care of, though, we do need to worry about random encounters. Some of these battles are you can't run from, but some of them you can. <laughs> We're gonna be really cutting it down to the wire here. These guys are persistent now. I'm not messing with you. If we still had the giant robot chasing us, I don't think we'd have to worry about the random encounters. Okay, we're almost there. Alright, good, we made it. But yes, that is the giant robot XATM092 defeated. Now, the only time it's killable is once you reach the bridge. But what you can do, however, if you've, if you've, like, really grinded before this point, like, made your GFs really strong and stuff to, like, a ridiculous level, it is actually possible to, like, AP grind on the, in, on the different X, XATM encounters. Like, on the first screen you can get, like, 50 ATP if you do enough damage to it, then the next screen you can get another 50 AP, but that's only if you're, like, ridiculously strong. I did see someone do that before. Of course, I'm not strong enough to do that, but it is possible.
Thank you, Quistus. He left. Hooray, freedom! Not that there's really much to do at this point. Oh. Thanks, Safer. Thanks a lot. Yep, off we go. Oops, wrong way. Now, I think later on in the game, this guy here has a, a rare card, but I think that's not like disc, disc 2 or 3. But, um, if you're going, if you're opting for the route where you just run away from the robot, selfie. If you're opting to just run away like most people will, while you're running through town, you want to warn the dog that's in the square so that he doesn't get hit by the giant robot, and you'll also not want to hide in the bar. If you if you don't talk to the dog, or if you do hide in the bar, you get docked points towards your seat exam. You also get, get awarded points for how many times you run away from the giant robot. But if you actually manage to defeat the robot, then you actually get awarded a special bonus. I think you get like a hundred points for it or something. I'm not fighting you guys. Anyway guys, I think this would probably be a good stopping point for today, now that we've completed the seed exam. When you join me next time, we'll be returning to Balam Garden and see how we did. So, I'll see you then, guys.